So if you look at it, you can remove this clamp right here with an eight millimeter socket or a flathead screwdriver. And then if you follow it, there's gonna be the same thing right here. Remove both of these. Now you don't have to remove these all the way. You can just loosen it up. Do the same to this one right here next to the mass airflow sensor. Once these are loose, you can grab onto it, pull it straight out and wiggle this side off as well. Right here on this flat part, there's gonna be a connector for the PCV. Pull that right out, and now your air intake tube is free. Next, I'm gonna disconnect the electrical connector with a, with a pick or a screwdriver, pry the lock out, squeeze the tab, disconnect it. And next, with a 10 millimeter socket, remove the two bolts and two nuts that hold the throttle body on. And remove the throttle body. At this point, if you have a new gasket and you want to replace it, go ahead and replace it. You can reuse this one as long as it's still in good condition, it's not torn, and it's still flexible. Put your new throttle body right on here. I'm going to start the two bottom bolts first, the two top nuts. Snug it up. Torque the throttle body to 53 inch-pounds. My torque wrench only goes down to 60 inch-pounds, so I'm just going to go to 60. It's not that big of a difference. As you can see, it's already there just by snugging it. One last thing is go ahead and connect your throttle body back in. Make sure it clicks. And then lock. And now install your intake tube back. Don't forget to reconnect your PCV hose back here. And snug up your clamps. And that's it. Go test it out.